कश्मीर टू कन्याकुमारी इंडिया इज स्पेल बैंडिक मोजैक ऑफ कल्चर ट्रेडिशन लैंग्वेजेस एंड एन एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी मिंगलिंग सिविलाइजेशन कीपिंग इट्स एज ओल्ड कल्चर मेंटेन्ड टुडे द कंट्री इज टेकिंग ह्यूज स्ट्राइड्स ऑन द पाथ ऑफ डेवलपमेंट हेलो आई एम योर होस्ट लिपाक्षी एंड टुडे इन आवर एपिसोड ऑफ माय इंडिया वी ब्रिंग यू सम ऑफ द स्टोरीज दैट विल गिव अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ अ कंट्रीज डाइवर्सिटी Let's begin the show by taking you to the Bhubaneswar city of Odisha where the magnificent Rakhunar Rath Yatra was organized and was thronged by scores of devotees. Dedicated to Lord Lingraj, the chariot festival is celebrated every year in the month of Chaitra which coincides with the Gregorian months of April and May. Take a look. Bhubaneswar city of Odisha has always been a town rich in culture, traditions and grand festivities. The city derives its name from the city's presiding god Lord Shiva also known as Tribhuvaneshwara which means god of the three worlds. The Lingaraj temple is one of the oldest temples in Bhubaneswar and serves as a venue for the magnificent Rakhunar Rath Yatra. Celebrated in month of Chaitra on Shukla Ashtami which coincides with the Gregorian month of April May the festival is celebrated with huge pomp and show every year with thousands of devotees flocking the procession to offer their prayers to Lord Lingaraj Ye Ashoka Ashtami isliye bola jata hai ye Shukla Pakshi Ashtami tithi mein bhagwan jo jate hain Rameshwar mandir wahan pe Ashok jhar hai जो चंडाशोक अशोक के द्वारा बनाया गया था सम्राट अशोक के द्वारा बनाया गया था उसी अशोक झर के तरफ जाते हैं अशोक अष्टमी तिथि में इसीलिए इसको अशोक अष्टमी बोला जाता है लेकिन इसका एक्चुअली जो नाम होता है होता है रुकुना रथ यात्रा रुक्मिणी बा दुर्गा उन्हीं के नाम से ये रुकुना रथ यात्रा बोला जाता है ये जो रथ होता है जिस दिशा में जाता है इसका जो फेस होता है वो चेंज नहीं होता है बस आने वाला आगे वाले में जो घोड़ा जच, जचा जाता है उसको पीछे वाले में फिट कर लेते हैं लेकिन जो रथ को उसको टर्न अराउंड नहीं करते हैं घुमाते नहीं है रथ जिस दिशा में ही जाता है पीछे पीछे होके आता है मतलब उसका पीछा आगे बन जाता है आगे पीछा बन जाता है A grand chariot made of wood was constructed for the festival. It was decorated in shades of red, yellow and orange using cloth and flower garlands and was detailed with intricate floral and tribal designs painted on it. Priests performed rituals and chanted prayers in praise of Lord Lingaraj, who is considered an incarnation of Lord Shiva, the Hindu god of destruction. The Rath festival lasts for a period of 5 to 7 days. Devotees draw the chariot from the Lingaraj temple to the Rameshwara temple and the return journey starts from the 5th day. Ye jo pavitra sakashtami ka ye rukmana rath yatra hai ye lagbhag 1100 khristab se ye chali aa rahi hai aur isme Prabhu Lingaraj ji ka yah yatra hai har jagah aap puri mein dekhte hain har jagah pe dekhte hain प्रभु जगन्नाथ की रथ यात्रा होती है लेकिन यह विशेषता है कि यह प्रभु लिंगराज यानी महादेव का रथ यात्रा होता है और यह हजारों की संख्या में लाखों की संख्या में लोग आते हैं माउसी माग क्षेत्र मौसी के घर ये जाते हैं आज ये जो समागम यहाँ देख रहे हैं आप बहुत अच्छी रकम से ये यात्रा हुई और लोगों में अदम ही उत्साह है और हमारी जो हिंदू सनातन परम्परा है इसमें ये रुकना रथ को खींचना और इसको इसको बहुत बड़ा सौभाग्य माना जाता है और अनेक जन्मों का पुण्यों का प्रभाव होने से ही कोई व्यक्ति यह सौभाग्य प्राप्त करता है रकुना रथ यात्रा इज ऑल्सो बिलीव टू बी पाप विनाशकारी यात्रा मीनिंग अ फेस्टिवल दैट डिस्ट्रॉयज और इराडिकेट्स ऑल इवल्स एंड सिंस According to the legend in the Treta Yug Lord Rama visited a Kamra Kshetra now known as Bhubaneswar in Chaitra and stayed at the Rameshwara temple as a guest of Lord Lingaraj who along with his family visited Lord Rama to wish him on his birthday the Ram Navmi From this significant visit this festival originated The festival finds its mentions in texts like Tirtha Chintamani of Vakaspati Misra, Kalasara of Gadadhara, Kalnirnaya of Raghunatha etc. Bhuneshwar ka jo rath yatra hai ye rath yatra hai Lingaraj Mahaprabhu ka rath yatra hai. Bhuneshwar ke Bhuneshwar bahar ke kafi bhakt log ikatthe hote hain jiske karan har saal hum dekhte hain 
ये भीड़ होता है भक्त जनों का और और भी बड़ी अच्छी बात है आज के दिन में हम लोग भुवनेश्वर में लोकल हॉलीडे भी डिक्लेयर किया जाता है तो इसीलिए ये रथ यात्रा जो रामेश्वर मंदिर जिसको माउसीमा मंदिर बोलते हैं उधर चक खींच के जाएगा नॉर्मली क्या होता है कि ये रथ ये रथ जो है आज खींचना शुरू होने के बाद बीच में रुक जाता है फिर अगले दिन खींचा जाता है Bhubaneswar also known as the city of temples celebrates many more such festivals to cherish the culture and ancient heritage of the region Moving on Sufism is one of the pillars of cultural and spiritual life in India Dargahs of Sufi saints in almost every part of the country showcase the faith countrymen have in these places For generations these shrines have been epitomizing the unity between different religious communities residing in the country The Dargah of Sufi saint Kadubil Tangal Waliullah Tiruvananthapuram is one such shrine where devotees from all religions come together to offer prayers and seek blessings Take a look India is known for its vibrant culture and is home to a variety of faiths, languages and lifestyles. People in India are free to practice any religion they want. Moreover, it is not surprising in a country like India to see a person belonging to the Hindu faith offering a holy chadar at a mosque and a Muslim person assisting him in his prayers. The legacy of this brotherhood is religiously maintained and showcased at the Kaduvil Tangal Darga in the Tiruvananthapuram district of Kerala. Only eight years ago, I was born in Kerala. I am very proud of this. Tangal is a wonderful city. We have done many things. 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 ൾ <laughs> 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 in honor of renowned sufi saint karuvil tangal waliullah one of the descendants of prophet muhammad the dargah has evolved into a secular and a cultural hub for thousands of followers who travel great distances to pay respect and prayers to the revered saint the dargah is also engaged in service to humanity through its benevolent activities carried out by karuvil muslim jumaat charitable trust The organization is committed to provide funds for the underprivileged society for their health and education. There is no uh, segregation in boy, uh, women's and men's. Everybody can come here and uh, offering their prayers. Here. Yeah, from all religion, no problem. Actually, we are uh, the beginning stage. We are little more here. Muslims are little more here. Uh, we are uh, the secular base is our one of the main character of our trust a yeah, secular base we are looking uh, to participate in all the events including all other community members and other leaders of the uh, of, um, other religions uh, this area is also uh, known as a secular base uh, and ktct is one of the most example for providing secular base uh, treatment to all the communities all we are we are giving donations to all people uh, belongs to uh, backward communities everything we are providing karuvil tangal darga very well depicts the coherence and unity among people from various communities and cultures of our nation it not only symbolizes diversity of our nation but also the integrity the people of india have upheld for generations Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. The Indian Navy hosted passing out parade for the first batch of Agni Veers or cadets under the country's military recruitment plan in Eastern Odisha state. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government set out a policy called Agnipath or Path of Fire 
designed to bring more people into military on four-year contracts to lower the average age of India's 1.38 million strong armed forces. The parade also marked the passing out of women cadets among the 2,585 Agnivirs, making it a historic day for the country. आप सभी नेवी की हिस्ट्री में एक नए चैप्टर की शुरुआत कर रहे हैं आज का दिन ऐतिहासिक इसके लिए भी है दैट वी हैव द फर्स्ट एवर बैच ऑफ वुमेन सेलर्स पासिंग आउट टुडे एक मौका है देश में ही नहीं बल्कि संपूर्ण विश्व में भारत की नारी शक्ति का परचम लहराने का एज द नेशन वॉचेस आवर वुमेन सेलर्स स्टिपिंग अक्रॉस एन एस चिल्का स्कॉर्डेक इट विल प्रोवाइड इंस्पिरेशन फॉर एन एंटायर जनरेशन ऑफ यंग वुमेन इन द कंट्री इंडिया which shares a heavily militarized border with Pakistan and is involved in a high altitude Himalayan standoff with China has one of the world's largest armed forces with some 1.38 million personnel soldiers have been recruited by the army navy and air force separately and typically enter service for a period of up to 17 years for the lowest ranks under the new system men and women between the ages of 17 and a half and 21 will be brought into the armed forces many of them for a maximum of 4 year tenure celebrities from indian film and television industry attended an award ceremony in india's western mumbai city bollywood actors rajkumar rao sakshi tanwar Ajay Devgan, James Sharp, Neha Dupia, Kalki Kochlin and Oscar winning producer Gunit Monga were among those who graced the 5th edition of the Critics Choice Awards. The award was organized to honor the best performances on big screen and digital platform. Indian Space Agency, the Indian Space Research Organisation or ISRO, launched the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle Mark 3 or LVM3 which placed 36 satellites in low orbit from the space station of Sri Harikota in southern Andhra Pradesh state. The commercial mission of the LVM3 launch vehicle placed the 36 satellites of UK based one web communication company in agreement with New Space India Limited to their intended orbits. Congratulations to NSIL and ISRO and one web for the successful launch of LVM3 M3 one web India 2 mission. As we know today the first uh, 16 satellites of the series are already placed in the right orbit and uh, now it has gone in the far south of the earth the lvm3 carried one of the heaviest payloads of about 5805 kilograms into the orbit india opened the door to private space companies in 2020 with a regulatory overhaul and a new agency to boost private sector launches Being home to more than 1.24 billion people who belong to different castes and communities, India displays an amazing characteristic of mutual tolerance and peaceful coexistence. This unique identity of the country are to be found in its every nook and corner. So today we take you to Mangaluru, a city in Karnataka to witness one such example of religious harmony that narrates the centuries old bond between two different faiths. The Moyuddin Juma Masjid situated in the Mularipatna area around 20 kilometers of Mangaluru city has become a symbol of religious harmony the 800 year old masjid was recently opened for visitors following extensive renovation giving out loud the message of peace and brotherhood the entire carving work of the masjid was done by ratnakar a local hindu carpenter ಇಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮದು ಈ ಕೆಲಸದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಧಾರಣ ಹದಿನೈದು ವರ್ಷ ಅನುಭವ ಉಂಟು ನಮ
ಆದರೆ ಮಸೀದಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ನಾವು ಪ್ರಥಮವಾಗಿ ಮನೆಯದೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಹೇಗೂ ಹಾಗೂ ಮಸೀದಿಯ ಪ್ರಥಮವಾಗಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ನಾವು ಸಹ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿನ ಕಮಿಟಿಯವರೆಲ್ಲ ಸಹಕಾರ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಮಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ಟೀ ಕುಡ್ಡು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಮರದ ಕೆಲಸಕ್ಕೆ ಬಲಿಸಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಒಳಗೆ ಹೆಬ್ಬಲಸು ಒಳಗಿಂದ ಟೀ ಕುಡ್ಡು ಬಲಿಸಿದ್ದೇವೆ ತೊಂದರೆಲ್ಲ ಇಲ್ಲಿನ ಊರವರೆಲ್ಲ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಸಹಕಾರ ನಮಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಮುಗಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ನಮಗೂ ಸಹ ಖುಷಿಯಾಗಿದೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿನ ಟೈಮಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಸಹ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಮತ್ತೆ ಊರು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹೋಗಬೇಕಂತ ಹೌದೌದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ತುಂಬ ಇದಾಗಿದೆ ಖುಷಿಯಾಗಿದೆ ನಮಗೆ ಇನ್ನು ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಕಂತ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಬೇಸರ ಸಹ ಉಂಟು ಇಷ್ಟು ವರ್ಷ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿ ಹೇಗೆ ಹೋಗುದಂತ ಹಾಗೆ ಹಾಗೆ ನಮಗೂ ಸಹ ಖುಷಿ ಉಂಟು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಸಹ ಖುಷಿ ಉಂಟು ಕೆಲಸ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ A number of Hindus have donated wood for the renovation of the masjid. A program was also organized by members of the masjid administration for people of various faiths to come together and visit the newly renovated mosque. Ratnakar's work was facilitated and recognized by the masjid administration as well. Enale lidare. Matte modalige namdu Ratnakar anta ivar carpenter. Now ನಾವು ಗ್ರೈ ಗ್ರಹಿಸಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತು ಅವರಿಗೊಂದು ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನು ನಾವು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅವರು ದಿವಸಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ಬೇಕು ಯಾವುದು ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಇಲ್ಲ ನನ್ನ ಲೆಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲ ಇರಲಿ ಆ ಥರ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊತಾನೆ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ ಅವರೇ ಸ್ವಂತ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನಿಂದ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕೆಲಸ ಮತ್ತು ಇವರು ಯಾರು ಎಲ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಿಕಲ್ ಆಗಿರಲಿ ಮೇಸನ್ರ್ ಆಗಿರಲಿ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬರು ಈ ಥರ ಸಮ ಮರ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಒಂದು ಮರ ಕೇಳಿದರೆ ಐದು ಮರ ಕೊಟ್ಟವರು ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಇರಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಿದಿಗೆಲ್ಲೋ ಇರಲಿ ಮತ್ತು ಇವತ್ತು ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಾಲಿದ್ದ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಊಟಕ್ಕೆ ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಮ್ಮ ಗರುಡ ಮಾಂಕಲ್ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಐನೂರ ದೇವ ಧುಮಾವ ದೇವಸ್ಥಾನ ಅದರ ಮುಕ್ತೇಶ್ವರ ಅವರು ಎರಡೂವರೆ ಕಿಂಟೋಲ್ ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಆಗಲಿ ಅಕ್ಕಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಹಕಾರ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಾವು ಕೇಳದಂತ ಮಾಡಿದಂಥ ಸಹಕಾರ ಕೇಳದೆ ಮಾಡಿದಂಥ ಸಹಕಾರ ಅಲ್ಲ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರೂವ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೂನಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ವಿತ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ಎಥನಿಕ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಲ್ ಫ್ರೇಮ್ವರ್ಕ್ And now we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Thousands of people gathered along Washington's Tidal Basin to take in the sights of the city's famed cherry blossom trees in peak bloom. The pale pink and white blossoms frame the pathways surrounding the city's iconic monuments. Locals and tourists were seen taking photographs and walking along the basin. The peak of the cherry blossoms is defined as the point when 70% of the blossoms around the tidal basin are open according to the National Park Service. The beloved trees were given as a friendship gift from Japan in 1912. The annual cherry blossom festival commemorates the enduring gift of the nearly 3000 trees and celebrates the friendship between the two countries. Nigerian artist Adebayo Ayodeji is targeting children to play traditional instruments like drums which he is worried could become extinct and erase an important aspect of the culture in Africa's most populous country. His twice monthly drumming workshops in the mega city of Lagos sees parents bring children to learn how to play drums and understand their significance in African tradition. In Nigeria the drum is not only a musical instrument but is used in events and rituals like communicating with deities and summoning meetings in villages just like a telephone but less of this is now seen because of technology Nigeria holds an African drum festival every April hosting drummers from around the world showcasing the beauty and sounds of the drum At the end the government of India has been committed in its endeavor towards accelerating the pace of development in Jammu and Kashmir in order to further the transformation of economy and the quality of life in the region a number of projects are being carried out under the Srinagar Smart City project which is giving a glittering facelift to the city have a look The poet Amir Khusro astutely described the beauty of Kashmir saying that if there is a heaven on earth It is here. And the crown of Kashmir, the city of Srinagar, has been receiving a makeover under the Srinagar Smart City project. 
The Smart City Mission was launched by the Ministry of Urban Development, wherein 100 cities were selected for renewal and retrofitting, with the objective to promote cities that provide core infrastructure, provide a decent quality of life to their citizens, and apply smart solutions to improve services and infrastructure. Major investments valued at around 120 million USD by the government are intended to increase tourism, create infrastructural development, reconstruct and repair roads, generate employment for local artists, ease the flow of information, and for the further beautification of the city. Basic purpose is that our city is the city, the city is better so that uh, it becomes better in terms of livability, in terms, in terms of its economic ability. That's the whole idea. Infrastructure upgradation is that the infrastructure is basic roads ka infrastructure hai, wo improve. We have a heritage conservation. Ho. Uh, this जो हमारा रिवर है उसकी रिवर की अपग्रेडेशन हो रिवर का जो है जो हमारी रिवर फ्रंट की इंप्रूवमेंट हो लेक्स की रिजुविनेशन हो सो ब्रॉड इन वन सेंटेंस इट इज टू इंप्रूव द लिवेबिलिटी एंड सस्टेनेबिलिटी ऑफ द सिटी श्रीनगर द लार्जेस्ट सिटी इन समर कैपिटल ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर इज नोन अराउंड द वर्ल्ड फॉर इट्स गार्डेंस लेक्स वाटरफ्रंट्स एंड नेचर हाउएवर द सिटी हैज बीन ड्यू फॉर अ फेसलेस under the Smart City project, conservation work targeted many famous tourist attractions in Srinagar, such as Shalimar Bagh, the Mughal Gardens. Local artists have also been approached for the beautification of roadsides in the city. Srinagar Municipal Corporation, we are working in the Smart City. This is a project here. We are doing mural art here. The purpose of this mural art is that यहाँ का टूरिज्म बढ़ जाए, यहाँ का टूरिस्ट अट्रैक्शन बढ़ जाए। The area near the historical Sunday Market of Srinagar was previously plagued with poor drainage, damaged roadways, and a shortage of feasible parking, affecting the market's popularity and profitability. Construction began to improve the roadways near the famous market to draw in more visitors and promote tourism, which would ultimately support the local economy. The modern techniques utilized by the ongoing Srinagar Smart City project have bypassed the problems that harsh weather conditions presented, obstructing the developmental work. Kashmir ke hawale se ki ek wo ek hota tha yahan pe break ek mahine ka break hota tha ek around 40 days ka break hota tha jab koi cement ka kaam nahi kiya jata tha. Lekin humne us tradition se hatke is period mein bhi kaam kiya cement ka kaam bhi kiya lekin humne advocate care liya. एडमिक्सेस यूज किए और जो भी मतलब हाँ टेक्नोलॉजी के हवाले से या कोर्ट्स के हवाले से जो भी हमें सेफगार्ड्स लेने थे वो हमने लिए और हम इस इसमें बड़े कामयाब हुए और इसकी वजह से हमें काफी काम काफी यू नो टाइम हमने बचा लिया। Many other projects such as the beautification of the Bund Riverside, improvement of the Jhelum Ghats, renovation and conservation of shrines. And the development of smart centers in the city have also been completed under the Srinagar Smart City. The developmental work under the project is still ongoing, however. There are 34 projects which are underway, in addition to 64 upcoming projects. Plans also include the development of several modern amenities like smart water and power meters, bicycle sharing services, introduction of bio toilets, introduction of electric public transport multi-level parking lots, and the development of sewer ridge connection networks. There are many investments also being made by the private sector, in particular to improve connectivity in the region and to establish 5G network capabilities in the city. For example, GEO recently announced the launch of true 5G services in the region. These services were launched by Lieutenant Governor of Jammu and Kashmir, Manoj Sinha. These major investments, conservation and renovation projects, the development of modern amenities, and the initiatives undertaken by local artists will make the lives of the 1.35 million people who call Srinagar home easier and will further attract tourists, which will support the GDP of the state and the nation. 
Well, that's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindiad.com. I'm your host, Lipakshi, and it's goodbye from the entire production team.